Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the soft parts to my Kylo Ren costume. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've been slowly building uh, Kylo Ren, getting him all set and still have maybe two things I got left coming. Uh, the belt clip is on its way. Got to have that. We'll do a tutorial with that. And then I need like a pouch to carry the voice changer in because there's two components to the voice changer. One part clips on, but the other part hangs free. So I need like a little purse or a satchel to carry for that. But I got all my soft parts in and I got everything from costume base. And I know it's not 501st, but you know what? I've been using costume base for so many different uh, outfits. I did costume base. That was my base for Jack Sparrow and my base for Han Solo. And you know, I get the parts in and I just, I just mod them. I just mod them afterwards. You know, I get the basic parts that I need and then I just modify them as I need them. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to build a 501st uh, quality costume. I'm just trying to build something that's better than off the rack. I want to look, I tr I'm trying to, I'm actually trying to look like Kylo Ren from Disney World. That's my goal. Like, I'm actually looking at more pictures from the Disney World Kylo Ren than I am this the screen accurate one, only because um, I think the Disney World one is, I don't know, friendly <laughs> looking. And I, I think it's a good costume. So I'm kind of doing like a hybrid between the film and uh, Disney World. So I actually have my pants on already because I didn't want to show you me putting on my pants if that makes sense. And so I'm gonna scooch the camera back and maybe I might turn it vertical. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've never filmed like full body shots of me getting dressed, but I kinda wanna show you all the parts and like what goes into putting Kylo Ren on. All right, so I think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna use vertical. Sorry, I know it's a weird way to film, but at least it's keeping the whole costume in line, otherwise I have to keep pushing the camera back further and further and further. So I already have the pants on and there's like a little pleat down the side. I also have a pocket in here. Well, one pocket. So, and it's elastic waistband. So that's kind of why they look like sweatpants <laughs> right now, right? It looks like sweats. And I am not using Kylo Ren boots. Uh, these are not standard Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren's boots have little belts on them. These are my Han Solo boots. And again, I'm doing it on the cheap because I'm not trying to spend extra money. I don't need two sets of, of black boots. And uh, just like Han Solo, everything gets tucked in the zipper. And we'll get... So I always use... Um, pads in my boots so that they keep their shape in my closet. And the boots will also help me with height. So I am not a tall person. And Kylo Ren is over six feet tall. So the next part of this is the shirt. And that is over there. So again, if you were gonna be screen accurate, Kylo Ren um, has a shirt and then he has another um, he has another piece with these tassels. So I'm gonna move the microphone to the outside now and zip this up. So the nice thing about um, costume base is it has all these zippers and it's very easy for one person to get dressed by themselves. Oh, and I ordered a medium, by the way. So there we go. So there's a little tassel in the front and in the back, okay? And so at this point, there's a high collar too. I would put the collar on because you need that as well. And I'm gonna move, move the microphone once again. So you can just zipper that in the front and then swing the zipper around to the back and not have to worry about it. So this is the neck piece, like you saw from another video, this is actually something I bought independent. So this didn't come with 
the costume. So obviously the boots and the neck piece are not costume base. The next part is the outer tunic. And this outer tunic has the hood attached. If you are gonna get a 501st accurate costume, the hood would not be attached. I had some trouble with the original outer tunic. So this outer tunic I bought separately because the original medium didn't fit me. So this outer tunic is a small. So looks like that. So the tabards, these down here, they're just long enough that I don't, you know, trip over them. And then the belt is here. And I just gotta find my waist. So there's my belt. So I just like how the small, the small outer fits me better. It's when you look at Kylo Ren, everything's tight, right? He's not, he doesn't have bulky, bubbly clothes. Uh, there's a couple more pieces that we need to do. I'm taking the microphone off just for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gloves on, put the helmet on, and I'll throw the shawl on over the front, but it won't look right in the back, but at least you'll see it. Look how old you've become. You know what I've come for. The map to Skywalker. We know you found it. And now you're going to give it to the First Order. I'll show you the dark side. You are so right. The old man gave it to you. Search him. Put him on board. Kill them all. I had no idea we had the best pilot in the Resistance on board. Comfortable? I'm impressed. No one has been able to get out of you. What you did with the map. It's in a droid. A BB unit. I leave that to you. General Hux. Is it the Resistance pilot? The one from the village? FM-2187. How capable are your soldiers, General? They're obviously skilled at committing high treason. Perhaps Leader Snoke should consider using a clone army. Then they should have no problem retrieving the droid. Unharmed. I want that map. For your sake, I suggest you get it. The droid... stole a freighter. Anything else? What girl? Yes. He means nothing to me. By the grace of your training, I will not be seduced. Forgive me. I feel it again. The pull to the light. Supreme Leader senses it. Show me again the power of the darkness. And I will let nothing stand in our way. Show me. All right, that's the end. And to be honest, I didn't even have my glasses on that entire time and probably had the balakava up too high. Like I shouldn't have it over my nose and my mouth going forward because that makes the visor get all foggy. So I couldn't even see. So I hope, <laughs> I hope everything turned out. Otherwise I would have to reshoot it again. But this was just to really show you this much, right? Show you the, the costume base costume and how it looks. And so the gloves, again, if you saw my other video, you know I got my gloves from somewhere else as well. So now I'm just kind of focusing on getting the, the shawl, the, the over the shoulder thing, uh, that to look right and to sit right, right? Because I don't want it to fall off while I walk. It has to like hang back and drape in the back. And then, like I said, getting my belt clip and then modifying my lightsaber so that it fits and getting the little pouch for uh, the voice controller and then I'm done. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'm gonna take all this off, but may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.